Hi, I'm Bonnie Roseman, and welcome to Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. This is my 39th segment live on Facebook since April 1st, and I have just enjoyed this so much thanks to all of you and your wonderful comments. Bonnie's Fashion Buzz is also posted on YouTube daily, and I have my own YouTube station called Bonnie Roseman's Fashion Buzz. It all starts with my three golden rules to dress by. B, build your wardrobe with classic pieces. L, liven your wardrobe with fun novelty items. And T, tweak your wardrobe with touches of color. Today, my color scheme is always, this week actually, it's all been about basic black. I'm wearing a black shell, and I'm wearing a pair of black slacks, and I'm gonna push this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more, but I'm wearing all black, and then I decided to throw over this little lightweight silk jersey tunic with a little bit of netting to just give it a pop of color. So red is my little accent today and it's always beautiful to wear red with blacks or whites. And then I love these pearls. They're from London. They're all coin pearls and it has leather and silver dipped in gold. So it's a, just a really unique piece and it was made so that you can wear it long, double like this, you can play around with it. You could triple it. I love pieces that you can change up. And then I wore these great vintage earrings that have pearls and a little bit of the black that worked in with the leather loops of the necklace. So everything kind of ties in. And I'm wearing a leather cuff out of alligator with sterling silver that another one of my designers does in chocolate brown and luggage color. I sell this to men and women. It's a fabulous cuff. And I have a hand-blown glass, Italian hand-blown glass ball. I feel like sometimes I'm wearing a chihuly on my finger, but this is a great one of my treasures that's also available. And so we started out with this as a punch color. And then you could take one of my great bags, black, it's red patent leather in the shape of a porcupine, and that's from Paris. And then there you go. Pretty nice, huh? And then to change the look, I love if you travel, all these pieces intermix. And again, just to reiterate, I've got the black tank on, I've got the black pants, I'm gonna be showing you a black skirt, all kinds of pieces that intermix. But to take this, and this is from Paris, it's a pin that I found in the Marais section. It kind of has an Egyptian quality to it. And this is a piece of red crystal, beautiful. And it's got, a, it's a pin in the back here. But I ended up having my artist who does these hand braided leather neck pieces so I could take it and wear it as a pendant, which I love. Then I would change the earrings and kind of go for the theme of the red crystal. And I love changing things up with just a necklace, a pair of earrings. These little details can just take what you wear and give it a whole new look. And then Look at this. So here we got this great ne necklace, the red earrings with the gold, gold here, black slacks, and then this is from Italy. It's an Italian glove leather shawl with fringe. And it's Italian glove leather, meaning it's soft and supple. And I always have a little bit of a chill so I would put that over my shoulders and wear that. And it just takes the outfit again to another level. And these are pieces that fold easily in a suitcase. They don't wrinkle. This can keep you warm, but not 
take up too much space. And I just love how this looks. What you haven't seen is the detail on the arm of this tunic with these little freshwater pearls. These are the little details that I love that kind of make things pop. So that's kind of the first look of the day. And if I was going out, I even have a matching mask. Can't wait till these days are behind us, but you know me, I have to make sure I have the matching mask. And if there's something you get from me and you do need a matching mask, I've got the people to make them, so don't you ever worry. Okay, so then I'm gonna show you a completely different look and take off the red and show you this wonderful black tunic because I'm showing you a lot of basic black today. But this, I always like things that have beautiful detailing. And this top has the detailing. So I'm taking off this necklace and showing you a completely different top. It's black tunic but it's all hand braided with the silk cording and black and white on the sleeve. I love when you have a little bit of skin showing and the little detail around the neck. And then I would put on this artist from London did this necklace, it's with polymer clay. It's got all interesting beads. It almost has a tribal look. And somehow I felt it work with this braiding. And then the necklace, the bracelet is made out of the same exact material as the neck made by the same artist. So it all works together. And then I would probably just put on a pair of white and black earrings. Just want you to get a close up look. These are vintage little button earrings. Sometimes you don't need to have a lot on the ear as long as it coordinates with the necklace. Sorry for all the moving around, but I like how this looks. So it's got a little bit of points. It's easy. It packs beautifully, lightweight, wash and hang to dry. None of these things have to go to the dry cleaners. I love the asymmetricalness of the necklace. You could wear it like this. You know, all these things you have to play with. You know, one way you'd like this. Now look at this where it has a whole other feeling and the dangles are on the side there. This bracelet, the great detailing on the arm, these earrings, and I might decide to wear some punch purse like this. Look at this, this is my Lichtenstein hand-painted Hermes-like leather bag by an Argentinian woman that I work with. And I love this look with a pair of black slim leg pants and a tunic like this, but just to have that, that pop of color, always my golden rules. Let's see who we have here today so far. Hi, Corinne, great to have you. I don't think I've seen you here for a while. Hi, Glow, hi, Carol, great to have you, even though I haven't seen you in the lobby in two months. Angela Manfredi, the Queen of Trivia, Entertainment Trivia is on. Thank you for being here. She does a wonderful show on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 o'clock. It's so much fun on Legends. Well, she's from Legends Radio, but it's on Angela Manfredi's uh, Facebook page. Susie Click, one of my fabulous designers out of L.A. Hi, Linda Mason. I think you're either here or Nantucket. Merle from Baltimore, you're getting your top. You're getting your top real soon. And hi, Harriet from New York. I love you more than you'll ever know. Okay, it's great to have a crowd today on Friday. So now I'm gonna show you a completely different look and take off this tunic and keep on the same earrings because I think the black and white earrings still work great. And I'm going to throw this on. It's got the most incredible detailing. And it is like the quick changes has actually helped me lose weight in this uh, very unusual circumstance that we're all going through. 
after making this my 39th show. So it's cut out shoulders and it has the most incredible white leather and netting. This is white leather and netting on the cuff of the sleeve in a ruffle. I'm gonna take off the bracelet so you can really focus and then look at the ruffle on the bottom here. I even put a little step stool here so I could just step up so you could kind of really see this beautiful little ruffle, which again is white leather and this netting. So it just really, and it's still washable by hand, delicate cycle, hang to dry. And what a great little look that is and something different. And then to throw on this polymer clay and polka dot at necklace, look at this. That sets it off with these little black and white button earrings. Love that. I might take this acrylic bracelet from my Brazilian designer and put that on. And you've got this great black and white thing going. So your basic idea is black bottom. I've got my black shell. And then I have all these pieces that you can just throw on, packs without any problem or wrinkling and then have these fun, lightweight accessories. I mean, look how fabulous this looks. And then to have a purse like this, this is all basket weave leather in black and white. It's got a handle if you wanna hold it like this, and it has the shoulder strap if you wanna wear a cross body or on your shoulder. But what an adorable look that is with the black and white. Doesn't that look great? And then I wanna change up the necklace again because sometimes you can wear the same top and have the most fabulous necklace. This I ended up getting in France. It was all antique beads. You don't even see these beads anymore with these beautiful multifaceted onyx. But look at this piece under glass. Somebody painted these eyes and it's very mysterious looking. And I don't know, but I just fell in love with it. And the black and white theme. Hi, Rita. Love having you from Washington. Kathy from Connecticut. Love you, adore you. Hi, Judy. Great to have you. I know you like black. Okay, so anyway, here we go. And then I wanna take this off, this little, tunic. We've got more to come that's so much fun. Take off that bracelet. I'm going to show you something completely different. You have to really be creative in how you do your quick changes here. Yeah, this works. This is a quick change. I'm going to show you. And take off this necklace and then we're going to be set for my new look. Okay. So now we've got one and I'm going to step up on this stool, this little skirt that is made out of a silk Jersey and it's short in the front and long in the back. And you can wear it. It's elastic waist. A little bit diagonal if you want and here I am wearing it cinched in with a belt and I have this gorgeous matching necklace that's done in pewter it's woven leather mother of pearl and I just want to try to get that on and this great little necklace it's got woven leather, mother of pearl, really, really interesting piece, silver, pewter. And then it's the same artist who did this incredible belt that's all done with leather netting, beautiful grid work, onyx, and this is horn. And so I love those. And I got the designer who made these pieces to do these great earrings that go with the necklace and the belt. I want you to see these, they're gold and silver. They have the same grid 
and this really nice kind of chain mail. And that makes for a great set with the necklace, kind of works with the belt or without the belt. But the skirt is really cute. I just didn't want to have to take the pants off, but I'm gonna step up sideways so you can kind of see that it looks real pretty to have this diagonal look, or you can again, pull it around and just wear it shorter in the front and long in the back. It's a great little skirt. Packs again like a dream. And I'm just taking it right off because I still have my pants. And you see how easy these things just pack. Really lightweight. And then I have this adorable, and I designed it. It's a Bonnie Roseman original bolero jacket. Look at this, I have my pants on again. So I've got on the cute little narrow pants, my black little tank top, cinched in belt to show off my waistline, interesting necklace, earrings, and this great little bolero jacket. And again, you can end up wearing this little purse that will always pop it. It's always great to have a great handbag. You could then change the whole look by just changing, just kind of getting to the finale now. And it's just a matter of figuring out how to get off this necklace if I can, but I might just keep it on. Um, I want to show off this silicone and chiffon scarf that's got kind of pewter on one side and gold on the other. So I wanted to show that off. I'll take the belt off. And just show this. So you can wear it. I'm kind of covering up the necklace so I don't have to deal with getting it off under pressure. But there's a great look with a pop of red. And you've got your little porcupine patent leather red bag. And I tell everybody, make sure you have those red Dorothy shoes. Wear your little red patent leather heels. Everybody should have a pair. Recommend it. Easy to pack. The pop color in a shoe. Couldn't live without these. Easy to dance in, that's always my key. And then, oddly enough, I have a fantastic red jersey. These are all pieces that intermix. Works with the skirt, works with pants. Everything that I've just shown you. I have a red tank. Here's a red tank out of the jersey, all washable and a matching bolero jacket. There you go. And then you can take a piece like this, or you could end up having fun if you wanted to wear white slacks or white jeans and this little red bolero with the red jersey, this purse, pair of white jeans. So it's all about the basics, black pieces. I want you to go into your closet and see what you have in black. Easy to pack, throw in a pair of white jeans and a white t-shirt, but these bolero jackets, these fabulous tunics that I have that are so unique with the braiding or a wonderful leather, a fabulous leather shawl like this. These are the things that really make a difference. And all week I've been trying to empower everyone to make the most of what they have in their closet and give it all a new look. Hi, Carrie from Fort Worth, Texas. Great to have you. Love it. So anyway, a lot of my clients know what to do with this stuff because they traveled a lot up until now and they know my things really work beautifully like that. I do love taking my silicone scarf and ending my little show with that where you can just go around the neck tie it in a knot wear it with the red I think that's a great way to end today is fashion 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 flashback and this is a picture of me that was taken when I was on I was being interviewed for people magazine and the photographer took this picture and I was wearing a necklace even I was a little ahead of my time in those years. This is in the late 80s. I was in People Magazine and I had the first Sassoon haircut 
and the necklace and the earrings were made out of leather and pearls along with the bracelet. So even then I was empowering my clients to go a little, wear something a little different with their very classic knit sweaters. I love looking back at that. And I am doing an auction, a little, a little raffle, should I say. I have over 150 comments so far and I'm keeping track on a daily basis, religiously, putting your comments into the ball and picking one person on May 31st for a $200 gift certificate um, with lots of love and appreciation for watching me and being so supportive of what I do. I'm, I'm on Facebook every day and I'm on YouTube every day, but the most important thing is that my clients are calling me and doing FaceTime. And it's through the FaceTime that I'm keeping my business going and it's just a wonderful way for me to connect with everyone all over the world. And then they always know with me, they can count on me telling them what to use out of their own closets with new pieces from my collection to give it a punch. So thank you, Renee, for watching, you talented artist, you, and everyone, Michael from my high school, from Cheltenham High, everybody. And have a wonderful weekend. Be safe, be well. I'll be back on Monday. Most important, feel good, but look even better. Love you all.